Star and welcome to my channel, Starlight Star Rate 70. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and if you are new, welcome, come on in. So today I just want to go and review some uh, diamond paintings I've been working on. I am involved with four events, so I just want to share those with you. But before we get to that, I just want to make everyone aware that there's going to be uh, bad storms coming. So if you're in those lines of storms, they are calling it a derecho, which means I think um, a lot of wind and it can last for a long time. And probably tornado threats with that as well. So if you're in the Kansas area, those areas there, please be, be aware. Keep yourself safe. Uh, keep your family safe and uh, don't take heed to these storms. They are wicked this year. So just want to do that. It's just, you know, so important to me that everyone just keeps safe out there. And of course, I will be praying for those affected in those areas. All right. So today, I, like I said, I do have some paintings and I also have some uh, Timu paintings I want to show you. I am an affiliate and an influencer with Timu, so I'll leave up my affiliate link here as well. It will all be in my description. So if you're a new user, if you have just recently re no. So if you're a new user and you haven't had your haven't had Timu on your phone for the past 14 days and want to reinstall it, I have a link for you to use as well as uh, you have to use my code and uh, Timu will give you 15% off your first order as, did I just say 15? Oh my goodness, 30% off your first order. And if you're a new user, it's a $100 coupon bundle. Um, for for reinstallers, you still get the 30% off. But there is also another link there is for a free gift. So if you are a new user, click on that link and uh, Timo will give you a free gift. So someone mentioned that in one of my channels. said, oh, you need to mention the free gift. I'm like, a free gift? And she, yeah, free gift. So we looked into it. And yeah, Timo does have the free gift. So I am still new to all this, so I'm still learning. And uh, so yeah, so really excited that uh, you guys have the opportunity to get that, that free gift if you haven't uh, used Timu on your phone. So awesomeness. Yeah. All right, and then before we get any further with that, <laughs> we gotta do our love and light cards. I forgot yesterday. Oh, thank you to everybody that watched the video yesterday. We had a lot of fun. Congratulations to the winners. Uh, three of you have reached out to me, so I'm still waiting for two of you. So if you haven't watched yesterday's video, go watch it. Um, my husband made a surprise visit. <laughs> he was my special guest. <laughs> uh, and yes, to those that have asked, he will be making uh, other appearances. Um, in the future, in the, in the future, not, not today, not tomorrow, but in the future. <laughs> uh, he's actually, he's still in bed with the, with the pups and I just fed the cats because it is still early morning here. And so, yeah. All right. So I shuffled the cards and we will pick one and I'm going to pick this one right here. And we'll see what today's message holds for us. Today's message. Oh, we did this one already. So we got to pick another one. It says, make time to work, rest, and play. So I think we did that one like the first day, didn't we? We should probably take those ones out. Okay. Look at life from a higher perspective. It says, getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do. And that comes from Proverbs 4.7. So you got the eagle and she's flying with the eagle. Isn't that beautiful? Getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do. So like I said today, there's a perfect message for today. Make sure you keep yourself wise with what's going out, what's happening out there with those storms. So that's perfect. Okay, close this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take out the cards that I already did so we don't repick them. Or that I don't think that I'm repicking re them. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna review with you. I guess I don't know if I said that already, but I'm gonna review today with uh, the projects I've been working on or the dime paintings I've been working on for the events that I'm involved in with this month. 
and then I have three Timu paintings to show you. So with that being said, I'm going to flip the camera around and try to uh, put it on my table the best I can. And I struggle with that sometimes, so uh, please bear with me and hopefully there won't be too much glare or anything. Oh, my husband did cover up the sky skylight, I guess it's called, here in the RV. And uh, so hopefully that won't be too much of a glare anymore. And so we will see what it looks like, won't we? <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. <laughs> and I am back. Okay, so this is a this is the first one. I'm not really working. Well, I was working on this for wings and things, and um, for last month, and uh, for the fantasy life, and for um, passionate uh, blue, not passionate, blissful and blue. So this is a and this is as far as I've gotten on this one. Uh, so, I mean, Eeyore is almost complete here, as you can see. Uh, Pooh still just needs his head done, and then I just need to do the butterflies. This one comes from Timu. It is, um, oh, actually, no, this one does not come from Timu. This is a custom that my husband had made um, for me and gifted me for our 12-year um, meeting anniversary, <laughs> we call it. So, yeah. Uh, 12 years that when we met and uh, we celebrated every year because it was just a blessing that we found each other and so anyway so yeah this is what he gifted me and that's as far as I've gotten on this one oh, there's my hair all right this one here is the one I'm doing for um, uh, DP Bewitch Cat. Uh, she has a channel, so if you haven't heard uh, of her channel, all these channels will be linked in my description. Uh, but she has um, Day of the Dead going on this month, so I decided to do some sugar skulls with Minnie Mouse. <laughs> and this has been a really fun one to do. It is squares. This one does come from Timu. It comes from, from my favorite company on Timu, or seller. Uh, center one um, absolutely love love this uh, company it's got a soft soft backing to it uh, the drill fill is really nice and clear let's see if I can bring that up just to show you guys a very very nice drill fill you can see there so very easy to work on uh, the, the letters though the small there are small letters in here uh, at night I do struggle to see the small letters, but um, other than that, uh, this is a square, but the square, is, I mean, it's just amazing, uh, as you can see, um, they're fitting so nice together, and for it to be a, uh, from a fr friendly budget uh, company is just, just amazing, and so yeah. I mean, there are a few little gaps in between, but I'm getting that too on my more expensive uh, canvas. But this one, yeah, it's just really, really nice. So, yeah, I'm doing her for Bewitch Cats event, uh, Day of the Dead, and uh, my little mini with her sugar skulls. So I did section off all these paintings. Uh, usually I'll put uh, placement papers down on them. But this time I actually made them into squares, so I thought, oh, well, this will be easier to kind of keep track and, you know, say, oh, you got this much to do yet before the end of the month. Uh, so this one here is uh, the ones that um, you guys picked out. She is a fairy. She is for Diamantita's event called Passionate and Purple. Uh, Diamantita does have a Facebook group, so um, you can join that Facebook group. And see what everyone's working on um, but this is the progress I've made look how nice and shiny hers is beautiful beautiful shine I got one row done <laughs> so I'm gonna really work on her this week that is my plan and see if I can at least get her done up to here uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get her completely done by the end of the month but she will get done 
and uh, she's absolutely beautiful and she lots of purples look at all that purple in there so it's coming out really nice and like I said it's got a really nice shine to her so and that's Diamonds by Tita I will leave her link as well in my description if you haven't heard of Diamonds by Tita go check her out uh, she just did a um, video this morning I usually watch her in my in the morning with my morning coffee her and um, Miss Bella and um, I see well Miss Linda and Bella <laughs> her life and mine but uh, but anyway but I watch her in the morning and yeah she showed Winnie the Pooh this morning and of course Eeyore was in there so it's like yeah you know which one my favorite is so this one here is a hummingbird. I'm doing that for Tail Feathers uh, 24 for Diamond Grandma's event. Her co-host is Macy's Madhouse. Uh, you need to be subscribed to both of them to be entered in the event. And Diamond Grandma also has a Facebook group. So if you haven't heard of Diamond Grandma or Macy's Madhouse, go check them out. They will also be linked in my description. But this is a hummingbird. Um, look at the feathers how they're starting to turn out here at the bottom I worked on this one last night so it is half done now and uh, just absolutely beautiful um, this one comes from Timo as well it has 25 colors and uh, I've had no issues working on this one the drill fill has been just amazing on this one as well and the colors are just absolutely gorgeous and the sparkle and everything. I just love this one so much. So, yeah, this is the Hummingbird. And then um, Paint with Friends. Now, Paint with Friends also has a Facebook group. So you can join them. Uh, you can join in their celebration because that's what it's called this month. And this is the one I'm working on. This one comes from Dreamer Designs. It is a huge painting, so I don't believe I will get it done. Well, I don't even believe. I won't get it done by the end of this month. But I, sh I am hoping to have it done by um, July 1st, as that's Canada Day. And I am originally from Canada, so uh, I did get this. This one's an 80 by 60, so yeah. Lots and lots of color block, or lots and lots of confetti in this one. Same with the, my Mickey Mouse one. Or my mini mouse one. She is full of confetti as well. Uh, this one is is a square too. Um, Crafty Chef Diamond is the one that's hosting Paint by Friends this month. If you haven't checked her out, please go check her out. Uh, her name is Laura. And yeah, so this is my progress so far with this one. But absolutely beautiful colors. You can see how the fireworks are coming out there. And then here at the bottom here this is so I started here and I went here and then I decided to go up here and then now I'm working on this way up and then I'm going to start rolling uh, my canvas up so I can start working on this section here so I do have it on a roller at this end you can see so I have it rolled up so I can work on it on my little table here and I don't have much room I do live in an RV so we make do or I make do anyway when I diamond paint. I sit here in my little cozy corner and I can watch all my channels on my TV up there and uh, diamond paint my heart's content away. So, so yeah, so that's my dreamer's designs. And it's called Canada Day. So I'm just going to roll this up. There. This is a light board that I use. Uh, this one also comes from Timu. I've had no issues with it at all. It's absolutely wonderful. And um, this one is actually a cordless. So if the power runs or if the power goes out, I still have light to work on my diamond paintings. So yeah, wonderful. All right, so we're just gonna get into some diamond paintings I got from Timu. This one is a 40 by 40. And then I just want to thank you ladies uh, for putting on the events. I really enjoy um, seeing all the different diamond paintings out there. And I know it takes a lot of work uh, to put on the events and so forth. So just thank you very much. I just really, really appreciate it. Um, I really, really appreciate it. 
All right, so when you're when you're opening your kit, this is what comes with it. You get your diamond painting, and this is wet. Hmm. I've never had a wet canvas before. Maybe because it's been in the bag, I'm not sure, but it feels damp. Hmm, funny. And this here, anyway, you get your diamonds, and then you get this little kit here. And this is all you really need to start when you're diamond painting. Is this right here? You get your wax, you get your boat, and you get your pen. I don't really care for this boat, but this one is actually a bit, quite a bit sturdier than some of the other green boats that I've, that I've uh, had in kits. So, uh, so yeah, quite a bit sturdier. Um, but anyway, I usually go for a bigger boat when I'm diamond painting, because uh, this one, uh, when you shake your diamonds, because you have to shake them to leave them flat, uh, your diamonds can get all over the place. So I do suggest a bigger tray for um, when you're diamond painting. But this is the girl right here, or the, the lady dancing. I do have another one kind of like this ballerina, but this one has beautiful butterflies all over it. And this one has 24 colors. So there she is, absolutely gorgeous. Let's just straighten her out a little bit. I don't know if she got water on her or what, but just, I'm gonna leave her out to dry. But if you, even there, I don't know if you can tell. Uh, she's a little bit sticky, but not as sticky as she should be, I don't think. But we're gonna see, we will see. Uh, these, these ones here look a little bit um, faded out. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to bring her up to the camera. But if you can see, I don't know if you can tell. But right there, do you see how that's kind of faded out a little bit? Just a little bit faded out there. But other than that, she got beautiful Jophil. I mean, absolutely clear. So, just in this one little section here. I noticed that it's uh, just a little bit off color. So, we shall see. But yeah, she still has very nice stick. She's got a little bump there, but, but yeah. Hmm. Like I said, she does have 24 colors. It is one through eight and A through U. Um, as you say, in the DP world, as the, it is TETA approved. <laughs> there we go. A little bit of crinkle, but not too bad. So yeah, I'm going to leave her out to just hopefully dry a little bit and see how that works. But yeah, like down here, you can really see the, the fading hope you can see that. I'm going to see if I can get you to where it's really faded there. There we go. You see that little bit of faded spot there? I'm trying to hold it as steady as I can, but... So, right in there. It's like kind of all faded compared to the other part of the diamond painting. So, move her over there. Yeah, it's nice and bright. And then you move over here. And you got the fading going on. So, just seems like this one little corner here. Whatever happened. So, we, will, we shall see. But again, she's a 40 by 40. And then these are her colors. Very, very nice colors there. Really, really nice. So yeah, we will see what she turns out like. I love her. She's the butterflies and her dancing. Like I said, I do have another painting like this that I had gotten uh, too with the ballerina. And I just think they're just so pretty. Timo has such beautiful canvases on their site, on their website. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I spent hours looking at their diamond paintings. And yeah. And then I come, then I get to show you guys what I got. <laughs> I'm forever down that rabbit hole. Either that or my husband is. That's why he wore the rabbit hat yesterday. Because, yeah, he's always down that rabbit hole. 
All right, so these are, again, you just get your basic kits like you do for every uh, painting that you, you get. And you get your, your diamonds here. I'm just going to put that to the side. And this one, too, I just thought she was gorgeous. She's a 40 by 40 as well, this little lady here with the butter I, butterfly. So I'm really into the butterfly fairies um, and just butterflies in general. I think they're absolutely beautiful creatures and um, just to think that they come from like these little squishy wormy caterpillars into beautiful, beautiful um, butterflies. So just the transformation. But, uh, but anyway, so she's got the flowing uh, gown here that she's wearing. See her legs here. Um, I think this painting will turn out really nice. It's only got 20 colors, so we shall see what she looks like when she's done. Uh, but really, really nice. And it, it, is, it is all letters. So I'm just going to straighten her out a little bit here so I can bring her up. The Jofo looks really, really nice. And there's a bit of a sparkle to the canvas. I like to work on the sparkly canvases. I don't know if it makes really a difference by the time you get all your drills in, but maybe a bit of the sparkle comes through. Uh, the shoes are round, same as the other one. The other one was around as well. She's just absolutely gorgeous. Just a very, very pretty uh, lady there. Just absolutely gorgeous. But here's her gel fill there. Really nice and clear. Look how nice and clear that is. Just really, really nice. So yeah, just a pretty butterfly. Butterfly girl down there to her dancing or walking. She's got little flowers down in this area. Looks like another butterfly here. So, and then her dress, of course, matches that butterfly. So, so pretty. So, so pretty. And these are the colors that come with her. Jill's all look really nice. And the diamonds look really, really nice. So, yeah. Really, really nice. Gorgeous colors in there. Absolutely beautiful. Again, this is a 40 by 40. These will be linked in my description if they are available. So check out my description if you are interested in any of these. And uh, the prices as well. Um, I'll probably put the, end up putting the prices on the screen here for you. So I didn't uh, get the prices beforehand. I just gotten these uh, dime paintings today. So, or sorry, yesterday. So I wanted to show you. Hopefully, or maybe I'll put this one down, back down here. All right, and then the next one I have for you is, is this one another 40 by 40? Yep, this one's another 40 by 40. Sorry for the crinkling, and sorry for Ollie barking. <laughs> He's like, come on, Mom, hurry up. He's like, I'm awake and I'm hungry. So then he, oh, this one has two. So you get two uh, kits in this one. And this one is a little bit special because it has a multi-placer. I believe these are three. So you can put three diamonds on here and multi-place if you want. And then they give you two boats and two waxes in that one. Just so that it doesn't fall down. And of course you get your diamonds. And that, this one's so, so pretty. So I don't know if you can see that really clear. Let me see if I can make her more clear. But she is a two. She's a fairy. And she's, I think, we just got a crown on her head. And uh, I just thought she was so pretty when I saw her. Again, this one is a 40 by 40. Joko uh, looks like kind of, hmm, we shall see. She does have some uh, circles around her numbers, or sorry, around her symbols. So again, I've had a couple paintings lately that have had some symbols and some not symbols. So I'm not exactly sure what that means or why they do that. But 
So she's kind of got both. But yeah. So that's her there. Like I said, she's got 30. Oh, she, this one has 30 colors. So lots of colors. It is a round. I had to double check to make sure she is a round. And there's symbols. Wow. So there's letters, symbols, and numbers in this one. So interesting. But yeah just beautiful so there she is she's got a pretty crown on her head look at her beautiful wings and she's got a beautiful dress on and she's got some flowers at the bottom just beautiful and then here's the gel fill so you can see the symbols there but very clear gel fill really really nice and then you can see oh, let's pull it this way and you can see in her crown area there's going to be lots of uh, confetti in this one so yeah but still you can really see uh, and then you can also see some of those uh, letters that are circled there so around her crown and then her eyes her face she's got a pretty brooch on or a pretty necklace there with a uh, looks like a rose around her neck so yeah she's just gorgeous she's just really really pretty I know you can't really see from the direction she is but I think she's going to turn out beautifully, and yeah, so I look forward to working on this one. I really love my fairies, and uh, especially when it includes butterflies. And oh, let's do this one here. And there's her colors there. Look at those beautiful colors. Absolutely gorgeous colors. Oh. Let's see if I can get right to the end. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely gorgeous colors there. But all her pretty colors. So yeah, so those are the three paintings I wanted to share with you today. Um, all ladies. I absolutely love my ladies, love my fairies. And it seems lately I've been picking, of course, uh, Disney, which would be my Winnie the Pooh. And... Uh, and and uh, my little fairy girls um, that seems to be what I'm into lately so I just uh, I just love them they're just so nice all right guys thank you so much for joining me today and I hope and wish everyone a wonderful Sunday uh, however you're going to spend it um, and of course from my home to yours uh, have a most wonderful day and God's richest blessings. And I'll see you on the next one.